Hey there, I just finished a massive update for uh, the Easy State asset. We're moving from version two to version three. And with this update, I wanted to redo um, the movie where I created a state machine in five minutes. And it's gonna highlight some of the changes um, and hopefully shave some time off. So um, I have created a new Unity project here. And now we just want to create a new folder to put our Easy State scripts in. Let's call this first data type. And in that folder, let's create our data type. And let's call this first data. Go ahead and save it. Now we have to wait for the scripts to recompile and Unity to reload. Let's select the data script that was created here and double click it to open it in Visual Studio. Let's reload our project here and get rid of these comments. We're gonna create three components, two actions and one condition. Let's go ahead and create our actions first. Um, our first action, we're gonna debug log um, uh, heads to the console and let's name this action. Uh, let's name it log heads. Now let's copy this line and paste it to use it for our other action, which is gonna be log tails and update that and then next we're going to add our condition and this condition what we want it to do is return true half of the time and false the other half of the time so how we're going to do that is we're going to generate a random number between one or zero and one let's call this random condition and when that number is below or equal to 0.5 this will return true and that'll give us the behavior that we want where it's true half the time and false the other half of the time. So we can save this and switch back over to Unity. Let the scripts recompile. Now we can go up to the window here in Easy State and open the designer. And the designer will select our new data type and we're gonna give it a name, this design a name. We're gonna say first design and then let us create two state nodes here. We're gonna call the first one heads and the next one tails. Okay, now that that's done, we'll create a connection from the entry node to the heads node. And we're gonna double click on this connection here and set the condition to the one we created, the random condition and then double click on the entry node and set the fallback connection to the tails state there. So last but not least, we need to add our actions to these states, the things that actually get stuff done. So let's double click on this state node here and add in our log heads action here. And in the tails node, we're gonna add our log tails action. Great, now we just need to save our design and you can see here behavior was created. That's great. So next we're gonna create an empty game object. Let's call it state machine. And then we'll add a state machine. We have our first data state machine. You see first data matches the data type that we created. So that's the right one. And you can see that it's already selected our first design that we created. Now it's looking for some data to use in the state machine. When we created this data type, it created three files, one of which was a scriptable object asset. Let's use that as the data for this state machine. Now that should be all we need. Let's hit play and load up. And then let's switch to our console here and click update. Yes, we've got heads, heads, tails, 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 heads, tails, heads and tails. All right, great. It's logging back and forth just like we were hoping. So um, this has been how to create a state machine using Easy State, um, the third version. Here pretty soon I'm going to release a couple more videos that'll go into uh, some more depth to talk about some of the differences and um, updates that were included in this third version. But anyway, thanks for watching.